Welcome back everyone. This is your host Jackal again. I'm going to walk you in this video through how to use this interface, which we call the Mech Wars interface, to communicate with other players, to create an army, to customize that army, and then most importantly, how to get a game. So let's start with communication. This list over here is the players who are currently logged into the campaign. By default, this is sorted alphabetically by player name, but there's some other ways that we can do it. If you right click on the list and go to sort by, you can sort in a variety of ways. I like to sort by faction because this lets me see how many players are in each faction and which of them are in a game. These guys with a red cross by their name are currently in games. And then the people with the yellow sword next to their names uh, are currently not in games and potentially people I could fight. So in addition to that, down here are various channels. The main channel is where we can communicate with the entire player base. Uh, I'll just take a shot at that right now. Let's see if anybody responds here. Yeah, cool. And then here in the faction channel, we can also talk to people that are just in our faction. Oh, by the way, you can also type somebody's name and then just press tab to make their name appear. And as you can see, this will keep those conversations separate. Last but not least, I can also click on a person's name here in the player list. And if I double click on their name, it will say male demo Lando. I say. Incoming message. And there I can talk with my friend Lando, who's going to help me out to demonstrate this interface today. Uh, so let's create an army real quick. To create an army, uh, I have to be in this headquarters tab. And then I press this button, create new army. And I get this row here. I can actually create any number of armies up to six. And to remove them, I just right click on the name and then say remove army. To add units to an army, uh, I just simply drag and drop them up into the army. Like so. And within the army, I can also sort them, you know, arrange them in various different ways. And there's different philosophies about how to do that, but I'll explain those later. One thing that's really important to understand is as I add units to an army, you'll see that this little BV number increases. That's the army's total battle value. And uh, for me to be able to play another player, I have to be within 150 BV of his army. So let's see if you can match me. Incoming message. While he's looking at that, I'll show you some other features as well. I can look at the statistics on each of these units. Um, as you can see, I've got mechs, I've got uh, some tanks in here, and I've also got some infantry. And if I want to see them in more detail, I just double click on them, and I get this pop-up window, which will show me you know, basic stats like the walk, run, and jump speed, uh, the pilot skills, uh, the armor arrangement of the unit. Uh, I can see, actually, it's complete critical hit list and uh, I can see what weapons it's armed with and what the ammo is on it. One of the most important things to understand about building armies in Mech Wars is that for them to be legal for various ops, there's a maximum BV spread between the lowest BV and highest BV unit. And I can, for a tutorial match, it's 600 BV, and it's really easy for me to check whether my army is legal or not. I simply right click and go to the attack tab and if this tutorial option appears, the army is legal. And I'll show you real quick 
this army will probably beat you illegal. Yeah, as you can see, I have no options for attack there. So just make sure of that before you set up a game that your army is legal. As well, I mentioned customizations. You know, these units are pretty plain looking right now. I can improve the appearance a little bit by changing the camo. There are literally hundreds of these different camouflage patterns available. They are arranged by faction. And since I'm in the soul faction, let's pick one of those. So let's see what's cool here. That one looks kind of cool. So let's get our battle started. One way that you can do this, you can right click and say you want to request a match. And what I usually do is go to this army unit, BV only, and then uh, say that I want a tutorial. And this message will appear in main channel saying that I'm looking for a game. And then when you're ready to begin your battle, uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. When you're in the soul faction, you're restricted. Uh, you can only attack players in your own faction, or you can ask players in the campaign factions to attack you. I'm going to show you how to attack a player. The way that it's usually done in the campaign is to hit the activate button, power up. and we get that fun message. When we're going active, we see this message here. For a period of time, I'm not able to deactivate. It says right there, you have not reached the front yet. Uh, must meet minimum activity requirement before deactivating. Once we're to the front, we're going to get some intelligence on units that we can attack. And right there, you can see Army Number Zero in the Solaris Training Company is available for a tutorial. Now here's how I make the attack. I go to the map, and this map is actually got 2,000 plus planets in it. It can be a little bit overwhelming. Let's make it a little bit more manageable by right-clicking on the map, and then going to display, and then unchecking overlay, which will kind of organize this map a little bit so you can make some sense of it. And what we're looking for is the only light blue planet in the entire inner sphere, which is the Solaris Arena planet. If you're some other place on the map and you're having trouble finding it, you can right click, say find planet, type the name. It's predictive type, so you can go to it. There's two Solarises, and you want the one that's just Solaris, not Solaris 7. And there we are, and I can launch an attack by right-clicking on the planet and then saying, I want to launch a tutorial, and then selecting my army. And in a moment, my partner here will accept the attack, and there we go. So once that's happened, you can see some information down here about the battle we're about to have. The battle's on Solaris. It's taking place in a lightly wooded terrain. We only have 300 meter visibility because of heavy rain. That I think is actually probably not very good for a demo, so in a moment I'm gonna have Lando retask the battle with me. Uh, so let's cancel that battle. We go to games cancel, and then our opponent has to approve that move. And there he did it. And I'm going to deactivate. And now, for tutorials only, there's another option for launching battles, which is going to this games menu here, then attack from reserve. I select the type of op I want to do. I can only do tutorials. Then I have to type the, the planet where I want to do it, which again is Solaris. And then I have to pick an opponent. 
which in this case is my friend Lando. And then I select my army. And in a moment, he's going to either agree to do it or not. And there he is. Okay, so this time, again, it's a lightly wooded map. This time we have much higher visibility, which is good. We've got a light gale going on, uh, but that's not a big issue. And down here, you can see that I've got four mechs in my army, and he's got two mechs and two Vs. And you can see the BVs are just about the same, so that's pretty good. So let's now join a battle. To join the battle, we have to go to the Battles tab here, and my partner is going to join this dedicated server here called Tractor. I just double click on that to join it. And that will pop up this window, which is the Megamech interface, and this is how we do battles. Oh, and this is needs to be reset. This is not the way that it's supposed to look normally when we join, so I'm going to reset it by typing forward slash reset. And then we're both going to have to rejoin. Looks like I'm lagging a little bit. And I double click again. And there we go. So this is, uh, as I said, the Mega Mech interface. Uh, this is what we call the lobby, and this is where we start a game. Uh, we can communicate with our uh, fellow pay. It's always good to be polite. And uh, here we've basically finished this part of the tutorial. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what an actual game looks like. Hope to see you again soon.